Hello Libra, this is Elijah Keating for WisdomSeekers.net for January 2019. And I have to admit, I never thought I'd see this day coming. Not from when I was young. Let's see what happens. Alright, the first card I pulled is the Thinker. And for Libra, that's very apropos, since Libra is a... a air side and they like to think and think things through deeply and back and forth and turn around best choice though is not to think honestly just to just to be there just to sit and allow that way you hear all the inner all that the universe has to offer us and it makes life a lot easier too okay so let's let's pull shall we and the base card is the seven Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Wands is a very good card. I like it a lot. It means that somebody well, who is very capable of looking after themselves, looking after life, they they know how to deal, they know what is the right protocols to do. They've been the distance, and they are very good at, they're very good at surviving in rough and in high places so these it's this card of somebody who is confident and well-meaning or maybe not well-meaning so much but confident and have a strong strong understanding of what they want in life so that's the basis of Libra's card and what covers it ten of swords the ten of swords is a card of courage you need a lot of courage lately and is that true? Well, the last few months have been... You needed a lot of courage to survive the last few months. And we have. Well, let's hope that's where it stays. It also is a card of going forward in balance. And even if you don't know where you're going, you have an idea, a very strong idea where you want to go. And that because you've got the idea clearly imprinted in your mind, the chances are that is where you're going to go. That is what covers us. What's below? What's uh, What have we come out of? The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card more of frustration than anything because you can't figure out how to get out of a situation or move forward. Well, the answer is right in front of her face. All she has to do is relax, pull the pull the uh, the blindfold off, and she could find a way out of those swords with in no time flat. And the sun is rising to show the way, so it wouldn't be as scary as it appears to be. So in the past, things have been frustrating, not because. We weren't capable of moving forward, but because we didn't actually know how to move forward. We hadn't had that aha moment yet. And what's just below us? This is the Three of Swords. This is, again, swords are, no, swords are tough cards, as a general rule. But this is a card of things, it's usually a business card, where things are not going quite right. They're not horrible, but they're not going quite right. But it's also a card of learning how to stand on your own two feet, not needing or requiring that other people they be there for you or around you. So that's that's what is directly below us. What's directly in front of us? Okay, Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, that's a really good card. And for Libra, it's always a good card because it's a card of coming together, becoming uh, a single unit. Libras are all about finding balance, a balance within a relationship, balance within uh, their emotions, balance within their home and their money situation. Balance, period. They just love balance. And when they're not of balance, and they're, they're really uncomfortable people to be around, let me tell you. I know, I is one. So... Libra, things are coming for together for you in a very nice way. And it looks also like it's a bit of a celebration. And what do we do once we get beyond that? This is the King of Cups. And as a gentleman, he's sharp, smart, sharp. 
and uh, but as an energy it's an energy of intuition of reaching out and looking for the answer without uh, without going through the the middle middle man. and sometimes you will just do that physically and sometimes intuition it just comes to you this one is more active as a general rule and that that's a positive that the intuition is going to be amplified in January I would think so and it's always good to have an amp up uh, amp up in the energy so uh, another thing that's going to happen for Libra in January is Queen of Swords and this card is actually a very good card it's a change card but it's a change on the emotional level it's a card where you will open up emotionally and be more willing to see things from other viewpoints your heart opens basically your heart grows how many sizes you want you choose to let it but your heart is opening the more your heart opens the more you can uh, you can do for yourself and because you can do more for yourself there you have much more left over for others so so far this is a good month for libra the intuition it's it's huge for you 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 will be expected to use your intuition a lot i grow and uh i like using my intuition obviously that's my job but I, I practice daily so it's not if you want to use your intuition you have to find ways of practicing and uh, making sure that you've got the feedback that tells you you're right or wrong but it's also indicating that it's very important for you to learn to trust trust your intuition you already know how to use your intuitions but trusting it is a different thing and what will that lead you to ten of cups and what is ten of cups ten of cups is mature joy it's not it's not candy cotton joy it's not uh, oh my god the boy asked me out it is a mature gentle kind of joy that will see you through many storms if you need to it will help you see the, it will help you live through the day happy and on 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 what let me think for a second unencumbered it'll help you become less encumbered by the dreary emotions of life so we have that we're supposed to be thinking and Basically, this is a lot of changes shifting. So, of course, you're going to think things through. And the last card is go the distance. I don't think we have a choice, actually, but we will go the distance because things are going to be good. That's our intuition is going to be fabulous, very fabulous. Our heart's going to open more. And we're going to bring in a mature form of joy and happiness. And with a mature form of joy and happiness, we are very much more likely to be able to help others who need it. And with that, Libra, it's been my great pleasure. Namaste.